Hi, I'm Jenny Lang. I'm the founder of Lang Consulting and helping nonprofits to thrive through planning, training, and development. And I am privileged today to be interviewing Moira Shepard, a friend, a colleague, and she is a confidence expert. What she does is fascinating. She's a confidence expert. She's an intuitive healer. She's an author and she's a speaker. And so there are a million things we could be talking about, Moira. We've got lots of stuff we could talk about. But today we are going to talk about your book. Your book, Love Your Way to Success. So tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us a little bit about your book. A little about myself is I spent the first 20 years of my career in media. And I thought that was what I would always be doing. And the idea of being an intuitive healer or a confidence expert was not even on my radar. If you told me that was what I'd be doing, I would have laughed in your face. It was just all that woo-woo stuff that I paid no attention to whatsoever. That all changed when something happened. I was working on the job one day and lifted a 50-pound box of magazines, which was no big deal. I was a gym rat. I lifted more than 50 pounds every day, one way or another. But that day, it did something to my back. I didn't really realize something had happened until I woke up that night, actually at about 3.30 in the morning, and it felt like there was this red hot poker jabbing into my back. And it scared me so much. And what scared me even more was that I was completely paralyzed. I could not move a muscle. It was so frightening. I finally, after about five hours, was able to crawl into the bedroom where the phone was, yank, the, yank it off the desk, call 911, got into the whole medical system, and I spent the next seven years flat on my back. About four years in, I asked the doctors after five failed surgeries, so is this going to be my life? Four walls, looking at you guys once a month when my father brings me here, and they said, well, it looks that way. We've used your spine. There's really nothing left to do. And my heart just sank. I wasn't sure I wanted to go on. I wasn't sure I could go on. But another deeper part of me said, well, thank you for sharing. I'm going to go get well now. So it was up to you at that point, right? It was up to me. So it was almost like I was forced into a feeling of confidence because I had no one else to rely on. I was going to have to be the captain of my own healing team. So my father was the one who brought me to a hypnotherapist who specialized in helping people with chronic pain. Mm -hmm. I had been taking eight Vicodin a day for wow. several years by then. I'm lucky I still had a brain and a liver, really a miracle. Um, but I, I, I went to see this fellow because the, the, the Vicodin wasn't touching the pain. It made me not care that I was hurting. It didn't really take away the pain. In the first session, he showed me how to control the pain with my mind. It was remarkable. It went from emergency room level 10 down to nothing in the course of the session. So I called my doctors as soon as I got home from that appointment and said, I want you to give me a taper down program to get off the Vicodin. I was physically addicted. I knew after all that time, but I was fortunately never emotionally addicted. I always resented having to take it. And that was really a, a godsend in terms of getting off the stuff. And within three months, I was off narcotic painkillers and about three months after that, I started feeling kind of restless, like, okay, I still can't really sit, stand, or walk for more than a total of 15 minutes a day, but I want to be doing something. So I, I, I talked with a vocational rehab counselor who said, this thing called the internet happened while you were away. <laughs> so here, why don't you write now? <laughs> yes, you've got plenty of time to write. Yeah, now you've got a brain functioning again. So I did. I started writing. I, I set up as, as, as an online copywriter who helps people put together uh, written materials for their website, for their, for their blogs, for their articles, brochures, things like that. And mm -hmm. nobody ever knew my condition because everything was delivered by phone, fax, or email. So and how did this lead you into the intuitive healing? Well, what led me into, it, into the intuitive healing was about nine months after uh -huh. I started that business. I'd been to a conference where they were talking about how if you, can, if you change your mind, you can change your life. Right. They put us all in hypnotic state and said, you're all entrepreneurs. We know you want to make money. So we're going to set up a, a post-hypnotic suggestion that you're going to make at least, you're going to come up with at least three $1 million ideas over the course of the next seven days. Well, I already knew I was a good hypnotic subject. So I went to bed very excited and wondering what was going to happen. And sure enough, I woke up around 3.30 in the morning again with the bedroom filled with light. 
and these voices from everywhere and nowhere saying to me in the most loving way, Moira, it's time for you to get out of bed and heal the world. And you have, you are working on that. And that's how, and, and, and tell us how that led to the book. It led to the book because I had no confidence whatever that I could heal myself, much less anybody else. I did not have any belief in myself as an entrepreneur because I'd always been an employee, but I believed in the calling. That was the, the confidence hook mm -hmm. I, could, I, could, I could proceed with. That, that was the piece that was going to carry me forward, believing in my calling and trusting that whoever it was called me was probably smarter than I was. And that has certainly turned out to be true. And so I learned intuitive healing. I trained in intuitive healing, first with a fellow who did the talk about how to change your mind and change uh -huh. your life. Uh -huh. I took a great deal of training with him. I trained with several other intuitive healers. I've got certifications from like 15 different techniques for intuitive and energetic healing on my walls. Four years in, I still could not bring myself to turn professional, even though I'd given away dozens of sessions and gotten glowing testimonials. I didn't, I couldn't quite make that leap. It wasn't until I, I, I got a, a credit card bill for my latest training. I'd spent an entire summer in Idaho training and I looked at my credit card bill and I thought, oh man, I need to bring in some money. <laughs> Well, I have been to some of your virtual sessions and they are just wonderful. They are something, they are something that um, everybody should try because you, you'll be back. I promise everybody <laughs> should try that. Um, show us your book. Show us that. Show us that lovely cover. And, and what does love your way to success mean? Love your way to success, it has a couple of meanings. One is that it's a more feminine model of success. Okay. Where masculine models of success are all about doing and achieving, pushing, forcing, goal setting, strategizing, scoping out the competition. And this is a more feminine approach to success, which is much more about being than doing. And it starts with coming home to who you really are, which is an expression of infinite love in the world. You are like divine love made flesh to me. and. When you shine that divine love, you, you share that love with others through your gifts, which were meant to be shared. And you also come to a deeper appreciation for yourself. Where the first time I ever felt moved to say, thank you for me, it was some, something opened up inside. It was gratitude for being who I am, exactly as I am. It was a, a gateway of acceptance of self that I had never walked through before. And that is truly the foundation of confidence, connecting with the love that you are. And from that love, you share it, you shine it, you speak it, you write it. And success comes to you as the people who love what you do come to you again and again. That That's is certainly crazy. something we would all like to feel. That is, that is just wonderful. So, so you talk about in, in your, in, in your uh, trainings and in your, in your uh, meditations, you talk about abundance, you talk about creativity um, and you, and you talk about, and, and you combine it all with confidence. Who is this book for? Who is your intended audience? This book is for women, mm -hmm. especially women who are creative speakers, writers, performers, healers, because we are among the more sensitive of the entrepreneurs, the more empathetic of the entrepreneurs. And because of the, that creativity, because of that sensitivity, it can be hard sometimes to summon the confidence to charge money for what you do, mm -hmm. to raise your rates, if you've actually been able to bring yourself to do it. It can feel difficult to get your market yourself, to get your message out there in the world because it feels like pushing. A lot of people who are very sensitive are not really comfortable with being visible they find it kind of frightening to be seen and heard. They find it almost terrifying to be listened to right. and understood. Right. And but you need to be out there if you're going to be a successful entrepreneur. So yes. this helps to get you comfortable with yourself. So you become comfortable with the visibility necessary to being a successful entrepreneur. Women have unique challenges with confidence that men don't have mm -hmm. for cultural reasons, gender reasons, ethnic reasons, and that can be very hard to overcome all by yourself, which is why I, I created this book to kind of 
take you by the hand and walk you through the different levels of confidence because we operate on many different dimensions, mental, physical, creative, emotional. Confidence operates on those different levels too. And this shows you how to integrate the five key elements of confidence for you to be effective in the world, mm -hmm. to bring your gifts to the world in, in a way that prospers you as well as others. And um, it's like a holistic approach to confidence that addresses the whole woman. And we all need that. We all need that because that is we're overcoming. We're overcoming something that has been uh, ingrained in us through our culture, through, through our in, throughout our entire lives. Yes. So thank you so much. Where can we find your book? You can find it on Amazon. If you search for the title, Love Your Way to Success, you can mm -hmm. also go to loveyourwaytosuccess.com, which has a little more information about the book as well as the link to Amazon. That's loveyourwaytosuccess.com. That's great. Thank you so much, Moira. Thank you so much for telling us about you, for telling us about the book and your wonderful work. And I'm, I'm so happy that you were here and I'm so happy that everybody's going to get to hear about this because it's such, you do such valuable work. Thank, thank you. you so much. You're so welcome, Jenny. And thank you. I love spending this time with you. I love spending it with you too. Thank you. Bye, Moira. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching.